St. Luke's Hospital is a state-of-the-art hospital. They have been recognized as one of the top 100 cardiology hospitals in the country. This ER is, is one of the premier uh, ERs in the state. We are pioneering robotic surgery in Iowa here at St. Luke's. We provide top-notch care and we provide some of the most skilled nurses in the area. I went into this profession to see lots of patients, treat lots of patients, help lots of people, and, and ideally save lots of lives. And at Luke's, I am challenged every shift I work to do those things. I absolutely love working in the second busiest ER in the state. It was a big reason why I took a job here. The department has implemented new technology. We, we added four new trauma bays. We've added new cardiac monitors and cardiac equipment, new ultrasound machines. And these things are all very pertinent in providing care for, for very, very sick patients. But those things do not define who we are. We are defined by the people that work here. And it's the people that work here that makes this place so special. I can remember talking to the MTs, and they were on the radio with the hospital. It says, yeah, he's coherent, he knows what's going on. I didn't think I was going to live through it, because I knew from working with these railroad cars, and you hear stories of switchmen getting caught between railroad cars. They don't live through this. And I said my goodbyes. He had that sense in his eyes that he knew that he was in hands that he was okay with and he trusted, but he was scared. And when I actually came to, it was like, I'm alive. I made it through this. To see a person go from not being able to get out of bed to walking out the door and going home with their family is amazing. You know, and it's well worth it. So that's why I've been here 22 years. Every day I come to work is a brand new experience. No two deliveries are the same, and I am just ecstatic to be in, on every new beginning. We have a level two regional NICU. We have a team of neonatologists and specialized nurses and we have provided care for thousands of um, sick and tiny babies. I first met the Bruns family under unfortunate circumstances. We were pregnant with twins back in 2003 and uh, we had a little boy, Ben, and a little girl, Ellie, and they lived for four days, and we lost them. It was a tough time. I um, just uh, seeing her hold um, her son as he died was really, really tough. The scariness of what happened when we delivered in 03 was automatically in my mind. They said, if we do not deliver now, you risk losing them both. And I had said, I will not bury another child. When somebody takes care of your kids and puts their hands on them and and heals them and strengthens them and helps them grow. He is definitely uh, our doctor, he is our friend, and he is truly a hero for our family. St. Luke's is definitely the place to be for wonderful care, for support, for love, for compassion. It's definitely where we would go if we ever needed to go again. The mission statement states that we treat the patient the way we'd like our family to be treated. I think that's a big part of St. Luke's. That's the barometer that I use when I try to decide what I would recommend for families is, you know, what would I do if this were my child or my grandchild. You know, it wouldn't be for the doctors and the nurses here at St. Luke's. I wouldn't be alive today. 
I'm grateful for St. Luke's because of the, the four wonderful blessings and gifts that they have given Wes and I and our four children. They have embraced us, they have embraced our kids and our extended family and you couldn't ask for more than that.